Hey guys, this is Kyle from InvestShare. I'm going to be diving into proper risk management and how you can use it to help avoid like, you know, your losses outweighing your wins. One thing that I see that's very, very common, with, especially with new traders, even experienced traders, where they will um, have like a high win rate or even a low win rate, but they've, after they've grown their account, they end up having a loss that destroys their account, like obliterates their entire account. And sometimes knocks them out as a trader for life. They're, they don't want to come back to it because they made one mistake. And it's almost always comes down to their risk management. So this video, I'm, I'm going to be as thorough as I possibly can. And I'm going to try to make it as beginner friendly as I possibly can. So it can help avoid those kind of losses that can just destroy your entire account. When, um, like you, I don't care if you have like a 90% win rate, if you don't have proper risk management, all it takes is one loss and then you're out. So I'm going to show you how mathematical and predictable it can be when it comes to trying to predict what your income is going to be as a trader just by having proper risk management. Because like when you have a, a long setup and you have your stop loss in place, your stop loss should be helping you equate exactly how much margin you put into a trade, how much leverage you're putting into a trade, and so on. So I'm going to... I'm going to break everything down and show you exactly how I do it. And I'm also going to include a uh, calculator in the description down below that you guys can get for free and you can use it in confluence with what I teach you here. It's going to show you how you manage your trade as well. So I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to dive right into it. So this is the 15 minute time frame on the, uh, on the Bitcoin charts. Uh, it doesn't really matter, but I'm just going to show you some examples of trades that I've done and also, we're going to do a, a couple scenarios as well of trades that you should be looking out for as well. So everyone's going to have their own unique strategy. Like I have my own. I have a, a unique set of rules that tell me when I should be entering my trades. And I follow them like they're law. And I do the exact same thing with my risk management. If I were to, you know, put a, get ready for a long, right? And let's say it's this double bottom structure. Let's say you're a formation based trader and you jumped in on this change of character here. And so you got in during this candle, but there is a downtrend level of resistance right in your face telling you that we're not likely going to go down, like go up any further. You should be able to see that like based on the long position tool here, right? The entry should be around here. Your stop loss will be below the swing low guard here and your target be right around here. And this is a, a 0 0.65, so a 1 to 0 0.65, meaning you are risking to lose more than what you're trying to gain. Just because you know it's going to go up to a certain area does not mean you should enter that trade. You should be waiting for the criteria of both your strategy and the confluence of proper risk management as well. Don't chase after the green candle or the giant red candle, if it meets all your rules, if it does not give you a proper risk management setup, okay? If, I, if that's the only thing I can drill into your head, <laughs> the only thing you take from this video, that's what I want you to take from it, okay? Um, so there's that. Not every setup, even though it, it can just coordinate with your rules, doesn't mean it should be taken, okay? Um, always look for a one to two risk reward ratio or greater. Now, in combination with that, you're going to notice that your stop loss percentage, the drawdown to the invalidation point, like you should always put your stop loss in an area where if you're wrong, you're absolutely wrong, and it's going to go the opposite direction, um, and most people would prepare for a short. Um, so I have, in this example, we have one with a drawdown of 0.82%. 0.7%, um, this one is 0.58%. So those drawdowns tell me how much money I should be putting into the trade or how much leverage I should be using. So what I mean by that is you should be looking at your stop loss like it's a type of budget. Like it's, everyone has to, everyone who works on nine to five normally has to pay for gas in order to get to work, right? It's inevitable. You have to pay for gas in order for your vehicle to drive and get to work. And it's the same thing with a stop loss. You, but uh, 
with the gas the tank you know it's gonna be rough it's gonna cost you roughly around like you know with these prices who knows but <laughs> it's gonna cost you around fifty dollars every time you fill up the tank right your stop loss should in your mind should be the same way it should be as consistent as filling up your car for gas and the value of your losses should be that consistent right so if you're trading with a thousand dollar account most people would suggest and i suggest as well that you should be risking to lose one percent in your trades so with a thousand dollar account you should be risking to lose ten dollars to try to gain twenty dollars with your trades um and if you're trading with like a two thousand dollar account you're risking to lose twenty dollars to gain forty until eventually you reach around fifteen thousand and most people when they, with a fifteen thousand dollar account depending on like your expenses are able to live off of trading off a fifteen thousand dollar account because you're risking to lose hundred fifty dollars to try to gain three hundred and if you can get you know you know, one or two trades a day with that, then you're gonna be making three hundred to six hundred dollars a day, assuming that you won those trades. Um, so your budget should be fixed, right? Now I'm gonna show you a calculator really quick. This calculator, basically, you type in the amount that you're trading with. Let's say, for example, it's five thousand, and let's type in the amount here. So if we have a zero point eight two percent drawdown risk with this trade. We're going to type in 0.82%. It's going to tell me how much volume I could contribute to the market and have a 1% loss of my of my account. So with a $5,000 account, you should be risking to lose 50 to try to gain 100 or more. Um, so I can use 1.22 times leverage off my $5,000 account. It'll give me the volume size of $6,097.56. And if I lost that trade... I'll be losing $50. If I won that trade, I, so long as you're doing proper risk management with the one to two or greater, you should be winning $100 or more. Um, so as you get, you know, as you know, like every trade is going to have a unique stop loss. So your margin is going to be unique to that stop loss to make sure it syncs with your losses. Um, you might have a strategy that provides you really, really tight stop losses, like 0.1% stop loss guards. And you can use like 10x leverage, and but you should be, you know, um, you'll be risking the same amount with that same kind of stop loss with a high amount of leverage. Or you can put in less margin into the trade, so you can use um, higher amount of stop, higher leverage, or you can put less margin into the trade. You know, you can make the adjustment, but so long as your losses are the same, try to make that as consistent as you can. Now, there's different types of risk management strategies. And I got them labeled here as well. So when you get access to that link down below, you can read all this as well. But uh, basically, there's milestone risk management, which is what I do. So when my account gets to a certain goal, that's when I adjust my risk. So for example, if you're trading with a $100 account, you should be risking to lose $1 to try to gain two. If you're trading with a $200 account, you should be trying to risk to lose $2 to gain four. And every time you reach a certain milestone or certain goal, you can adjust your um, your risk, like the amount that you're willing to lose to try to gain. And then there's compound risk management, which is basically the moment you you trade your existing, you're, when you close your existing trade, your, your next trade is going to evolve based on that new balance. Okay, so if you're trading with a $1,000 account and you made a win, then... Um, your entry balance, your entry for your next trade is going to be higher and higher and higher and higher. And if you lose, it'll immediately adjust to that loss too. This is something I suggest if you have a higher than 50% win rate because of the fact that if you lose your trades, it's going to hurt your growth. So you want to make sure you have a, a relatively high win rate so that you can still scale properly with compound risk management. And this consistency, guys, um, let me just uh, go review one thing really quick. When you are building your strategy and you find a, a new shiny new indicator out there, make sure you back test it in <coughs> sorry in a back in the, basically back test it in a um, an environment where like let's go on to like trading view for example and you can click on replay mode up here and you can adjust this so you can go back in time. You can go back two years one year a month or the entire history of the asset and then 
after you have all your rules written down for when you know to enter or exit a trade, make sure you, you test that out to see what your win rate is going to be with that set of rule and all those, all those, the criteria that you set up for your entry, because it's, um, you have no idea what your mathematical edge is over the market if you don't back test it first. A lot of people will chase the shiny new indicator to try to improve their win rate without testing it. And they'll, they'll try it in a live environment with their real funds and then they end up um, losing everything, testing new stuff out. So back test it first, then practice it with a low amount of funds next. Um, and then once you've got a good grip of it and you know exactly what your win rate is, and you should be logging that too. You should be logging like every win and every loss that you've done so you can give yourself a percentage value and that percentage value will tell you in combination with proper risk management where you're going to be at 100, 200, 300, 1,000 trades from now and you can mathematically equate exactly how wealthy you are going to be following these set of rules in a few years from now. So without that statistical edge, all this is kind of just guesswork, right? So make sure you go back in time and figure out exactly how well that strategy is going to work. Um, it's, it's very, very easy. Basically, you just click on the replay tool and you'll see that how I just clicked on the screen there and it brought me to this moment. And then the bottom, you can click on play and it will go back into replay speed based on what you set up here. So when you click on this 1x down here, you're going to see that this is like one bar per second or one bar for every two seconds or one bar for every 10 seconds, depending on how fast or slow you can do it. And you can back test an entire strategy in a single day and know exactly how profitable it is. And this is a great way of figuring out who is telling the truth and who the liars are in the YouTube space. There's a lot of people that are dishonest with their strategies that try to lure you in to buy it and stuff like that. This allows you to test it out for real and figure out, okay, this is actually how profitable this strategy is. Um, so in combination with profit risk management, this is how far I'm going to be if I follow this strategy in a year or so from now. Um, so there's that you can do it play mode, or you can just click on this forward button and do it one candle at a time. Right. And, uh, yeah, and once all the rules are met that you have had set up and you enter that trade, in a you know in a, a paper trading environment and then you're then you'll know whether or not it's gonna win or loss and yeah you're good to go and then you just mark down how many wins how many losses you've done with that strategy and then you'll have a percentage win rate and then that percentage value will tell you exactly how often you're gonna win and then use that in combination to the risk management and you're good to go so I'm gonna show you a cool tool over here this is one that really got me into trading, <laughs> this little calculator. Um, so you type in the initial investment amount, like how much you're going to be trading with. Uh, let's say it's just $1,000. And your daily interest rate, think of this as like your daily goal to how many trades you're, how much you're going to try to earn per day as a trader. Uh, let's say it's 1%, right? And how many trades you do. So let's say you do 300 trades. Right? With a $1,000 count, trying to earn 1% per trade, after 300 trades, you'll turn that account into 20000 Assuming you won them all, of course. If you have a 50% win rate, it's going to take you two times longer. It's going to take you like 600 trades. Um, now, 1% is actually pretty easy in the crypto space. Like Once you figure out your rules and you you got it all set, 1% growth is not that bad. At 2%, you'll see how quickly... It can grow. You can get your thousand dollar count to three hundred eighty thousand dollars after three hundred uh, trades, right? Three hundred wins, assuming you're compounding all your wins. So you can see how you can use the combination of everything I just showed you to help equate where you're going to be at after X amount of trades, and <clears throat> and if you have a fifty percent win rate, you just times that by two. If you have an eighty percent win rate. And you just times that by 0 0.20, then add that value onto the new calculation, <laughs> and you know, you'll figure it out. Um, but basically, yeah, this is what I mean. You can kind of determine your salary as a trader based on your account and based on your win rates if you use proper risk management. Um, 
that's pretty much it, guys. The uh, If you have any more questions about this, there's a lot more to learn, of course. Uh, but uh, if you have any more questions about this, you can reach out to me in the Investor Discord. The link will be down there below. We have courses as well that will help you go through all this, like from the very beginning to try to become a trader to basically like my I'm trying to like upload my entire brain into that course so everything that I know is going to be in that course and there's already over 120 lessons for you guys to go through so you can really improve yourself as a trader um, but that's that's pretty much it guys if you have any more questions like I said you can comment down below in the YouTube video um, or you can message me in the discord and have yourself an amazing day thank you Bye. Hey, yo, I'm all about the crypto. In case you don't know, it's the haste of inflation, the crazy sweep on the nation. Your baby, every blockchain, and created the same. But the learning curve feels like a bullet to the brain. Let me enlighten you, let me enlighten you. I react to the max that would turn to a fire. And the 